In this video, we're going to discuss the MPC monitor behavior. So this one's a really interesting one because you can use it to monitor the health of a creature or a NPC in your level. And if something happens to that NPC, then that can do a couple different things. In my case, I'm triggering events, but I'll show you there's a couple other things you can do. So let's just get started. I've built this arena and I'm going to enter the arena. I'm going to start an event uh, to happen. So I walk in, door opens, bug sees me, it's coming at me. I've got to defend myself here. Oh! Uh, got him. All right, so bug dies. And then that triggers the next cage to open. The rat spawns. And we'll take out the big rat. Not too bad. All right, the rat dies. And that triggers the next event. And you can see where this is going. So I'm just going <coughs> to see if I can get this one without dying. Okay, got him. All right, so the hyena's dead, and now the last boss comes out. Uh, big old scorpion. This one's a little tougher, so give me a second. I'll stab this thing to death. There we go. Got him. All right, so that kills the scorpion, and then the door to the exit uh, opens, and I can leave the arena and move on to the rest of the level. Um, so let's take a look and see how that all works. So here we can see that it starts with a trigger zone. So here's my player. I come out here and I go into a trigger zone. That trigger zone is linked to two things, the roach and the door. So that trigger zone is opening. It's kind of starting the entire sequence of events. Uh, the door opens. The roach is not active by default. So if we look at its character settings, the show at start of level is unticked. Um, so the trigger zone is what activates that uh, creature and it comes through the door. And the reason I chose to do that is I wanted there to be enough time for the door to open um, and the roach activate without it seeing me. Because I found that if the if there's a if there's something in the way, it can sometimes, uh, you know, make the bug confused. So I felt like the the right approach was to wait and let the door open first and then activate them. So once that's done, you saw that the bug came out, squashed the bug, the bug died, and that's what triggers the next event. And that is from our featured behavior, which is the, um, the NPC behavior. So that is set up on this column here. So NPC monitor behavior. Uh, the NPC's name is cockroach. That's just the name of the, the entity over here. Um, and then here's what I was talking about earlier. We can trigger a couple different things. In my case, in every, in all instances in this setup, I'm doing an event trigger. So I'm triggering the next thing to happen, but you could also, uh, select lose game or win game. So you can imagine maybe there's a protectee and you're trying to keep it safe. Uh, but if it dies, then you lose the game. Um, or maybe it's a boss fight. It's the final boss and you got to kill that. And when you kill that, then you win the game, you know, and win game incidentally doesn't necessarily mean the whole game. It could just be in the level. And if there's another level, it would just move on to the next level. So bear that in mind as well. Um, so a couple different ways that you can use this, uh, the display health, I just chose not to display. It would just be, I think a number at the, below the, the NPC. Um, wasn't necessary in this case just because they died fairly quickly. Um, and then the last thing we have is the monitor active checkbox. So this was a little bit confusing at first, but I had to get my mind wrapped around it. Basically, when that's ticked, that means that this behavior will begin monitoring the cockroach immediately, right? It doesn't have to be triggered first. So in other words, you could have this NPC monitor behavior set up to monitor cockroach, but the cockroach, maybe it doesn't get monitored immediately. Maybe something else has to happen that triggers that monitoring to occur. That's what that tick box is for. So if you untick that and uh, you kill the cockroach, nothing would happen because it's not monitoring the cockroach. You would have to activate the monitoring mechanism or behavior first in order for that to begin monitoring the, the cockroach to trigger the event. I hope that all makes sense. Like I said, it did take me a, a few minutes to wrap my head around that. Uh, so hopefully that, that's clear enough. But if you have questions, by all means, just leave them in the comments. 
All right, so once the cockroach was dead, you saw that this gate opened and this rat appeared, came out and attacked me. Um, and so you can see that I've got these logic linked to those items. So once it detected that the cockroach was dead, it, and that it activated the next thing in line. And uh, we really just rinse and repeat from there. This is monitoring the rat. When the rat dies, it triggers the hyena. Uh, this is monitoring the hyena and you get the idea and so on and so forth all the way until we get to this last column Oops This one right there is monitoring the scorpion and all it's doing is just opening the exit door But that's it. That's the NPC monitor behavior if you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new uh, Please please be sure to click the like button down below that helps me out a lot um, if you're new here, or if you just haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do so. We'd really love to have you stick around. Um, and lastly, if you'd like a notification whenever new videos are posted, just click the bell icon and that'll notify you anytime a new video is ready for you. Uh, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.